Hi everyone, I hope you're good guys and welcome for a new video. So today I'm gonna show you how to get nice organic drums with the drum machine that I created by only using Ableton uh, Collision plugin. So you can get this kind of sound. So basically Collision is an uh, Ableton device, uh, this one which is kind of modeling a physical instrument like Xylophone or Calibre, stuff like that. You can change the uh, I this kind of sound but the thing is you have some noise and stuff like that so you can really create like weird percussion and you can even create drums so just first let me tell you the story a little bit about that uh, I always wanted like to create a rack and using this device yeah to create like weird percussion you have this inharmonic where you can get like weird tone and can be used as well like to create like more uh, melodic and kind of percussive element as well so I think it would be perfect to make a rack out of it so that's how I start to kind of group it and assign the main macro I wanted to uh, to modulate uh, first oh yeah if you don't really know if you're not really familiar with this plugin I will put the link in the description of the video of one upon the cent where he explained everything like just so perfectly I'm not gonna make a tutorial about uh, what everything does but just you will see I for each element, I have assigned macro and I will tell you uh, what each macro does. It's more or less all the same uh, macro for all the element. Uh, it's always often like mallet, noise tone, decay, pitch, color, heat and bright for almost all of the element. But yeah, first my idea was just to make one rock uh, and like for example mapping this kind of changing the, the resonator and maybe one macro is the noise to add noise or no one macro is the stiffness and then i realized that will be a shame because kind of each um resonator sound has its own signature and its own uh sound so it would be better to make one rock for each uh resonator and that was that happened at the period of the time where uh electron released he, uh, the uh, cycle uh, drum machine which is basically a drum machine based on FM synthesis and it reminds me actu I, I actually like uh, last year create a kind of drum machine already with operator I've, I've done this kind of exercise trying to recreating its sound but I didn't really I'd, I've never made a video I didn't really release it or whatsoever because it was like just work in progress but it made me think out oh, it could be interesting to kind of made um make a drum machine and just based with a collision uh device and getting different kind of percussive element and different kind of color so that's what kind of i've done here we have the folder uh, with all of the rock there is plenty of rock i'm gonna explain a little bit everything and so i create a drum rack with all of the uh, different kind of percussion and you can see like each percussion has its control you have as well effect inside the rack you can send uh, reverb or you have oh sorry and to really kind of get yeah a drum machine especially for percussion uh, the cool thing is you have the single one as well so if you don't want to load a full rack you can just take per single and you have beam marimba pipe plate and you can just drop it and you can then ch shape you you percussion so you can see it's like quite very versatile and i I haven't put any uh, SFX, but you can just like quickly put So here the thing is this one I've been designed for a drum rack to put a drum rack to act like a drum machine But obviously if you want to play melody, uh, I've made a version as well uh, Which is the multi one where basically if you take this one you can now play different kind of notes and create more like 
melodic style. So obviously you can always tweak it and and make it sound a little bit less like uh, nice. And especially if you have, if you use this uh, industrial center fix hark I've made as well instead, maybe oh, you can. Just experiment, but yeah, this one you can play different kind of like more kind of melodic uh, harmonic stuff. But you can always, like I said, use the color macro to kind of get more like a disharmonic kind of weird sound. So yeah, sorry. And then when I had all my percussive drum machine. I say it's a shame I should maybe like uh, do some drums, you know, like to like kick hat snare. And I ended up uh, on the end making like a, a full, no full drum machine, but I ended up making, sorry, a kick, close I hat, open a hat, shaker, snare one, snare two. I tried to make a club, but it was quite hard. Tom, same, I just put one tom, you can put more if you kind of rim shot and then after you have the seven percussion and I've drop it in this drum rack because like this you have straight away effect inside the rack so for for example on your open hearts you have a delay hearts for example which is the returns uh, C so you can just send and you have straight away delay and for the more percussive this one is nice to use the G because it's like a long delay and reverb and then you can start to kind of tweak. So almost each part is kind of different. You will see always mallet attack on GK. They usually don't change this four. And for example, you see this kick, which is kind of sounding not like a 99, but if you want something a bit softer, you can just like, for example, bring the pitch envelope down, reduce the decay, and straight away you see you get something more like a kind of 808 kick. So it's it's pretty versatile. Uh, let me explain you what so mallet is controlling the stiffness. So basically. of get different there is no really explanation you know I just have to tweak this is changing the material so usually the more you go up the more you have like high frequency and the more you go down the more you have like low frequency oh, let me. I should have kept yeah, so here for the kick, obviously you have pitch envelope because it's very important for a kick and the pitch time. But yeah, you can really tweak, make your own kind of kick. And uh, as you can see, you yeah, can already get different kind of kick. And you have the boom, which is basically uh, air bass, like a corpus, which is basically something similar than the collision and can help you to add a bit frequency so obviously for this patch uh, the effect does a lot of job I have uh, a drum bass and a saturator which is kind of <laughs> well you have a lot in, in volume but they are helping a lot the kick to stand out and then you have so close I had open I had you will find like a familiar kind of Parameter like high pass filter. If you, if you want to filter your hat, no, it's kind of controlling the noise volume here and tone again is decay. So you see here, you get something a bit more darker than here. And so here it's like was in the original. Oh. 
yeah, you have to be careful when the tone is at the maximum. Uh, it's sometimes like create long GK release. Uh, I don't know why, but and depending yeah, the mallet as well. If you go for example, this one. It's basically controlling the, the bright, controlling the resonance brightness, reso it, the heat and reso harmonic, the inharmonic harmonic. So obviously with noise, it's, it doesn't really show. I will explain better with the percussion, but I'm coming to that in a second. So yeah, you can just shape open hat is the same kind of parameter, pass filter, or control of the noise. You can kind of pitch it to change the tone, GK longer, shorter. You can experiment, change the mallet, and again, reso harmonic, reso heat, reso bright is parameter to just shape and make different kind of sound. Shaker, same again, mallet, no stone, GK, color one, color two. That's effect I think I put uh, here. We're just gonna. This is the frequency shifter. And yeah, you can just experiment until you find a sound you like. Same go with the snare. You can see again my light noise. I'm not gonna just experiment. You can get different kind of color character. You wanna. Tom. So here you can hear better how it affects the sound. So yeah, can do very kind of wide kind of uh, wide palette of sound. Here's more like kind of a ring shot. I try to kind of emulate this classic sound and and add macro to be able to shape them in a different way. And yeah, and so then we go to uh, the all the percussive ones. So each one has has the same property basically everything is set the same it's just the the resonator type which is changing and okay i'm gonna I'm gonna take this one this is kind of etching color like a pitch it's changing the harmonics find something you like and maybe this one I will send just in the in the delay and yeah it's the, the um, velocity control the the volume so the harder you hit and the, the it's kind of open as well uh, a little bit the filter that's because of this key 50% And yeah, so each one has the same control. So if you are more like into dark percussion, don't hesitate to change this color parameter. And then so you have like two different, which are not the same. You can see this one. Uh, it's because the the resonator parameters are different. 
and so I add a, a pitch envelope. Can get. Let me put. Finally, this one, this one is gonna be the, I leave the bass, it's gonna be nice for kind of tone, but obviously you can. Okay, and there is this noise that parameter, I didn't talk too much about it, but just usually adding a little bit of noise just be gentle because and you can get rid of you can be creative especially if you want this dark weird Yeah, you can see like you can really get very different kind of tone and just playing with until you find something you like and again they're all coming dry so you can either use the sand that i've included in the drum rack or either like just drop uh, an effect rack and and modulate the thing as you like so the cool thing is that and include drum rack so you can obviously if you have a push it's super fun to play or even like even if you don't need to push, but you just double click here and you can easily uh, write a pattern. So I'm just gonna just gonna do it with the push because it's so much easier. But yeah, you can. Uh, so I've kind of maybe this one. Yeah, you can just play around. One thing I say, as you can see, check here in the corner. It's like a very CPU consuming, obviously, because uh, there is 15 collision playing in the same time. So just keep that in mind. Uh, so yeah, basically this drum rack, I wouldn't never use like all the stuff all together, but it can be nice to, if you want to add a kind of organic vibes to your track, just drop the drum rack, play with a few of the elements, see what will fit well your track. And that, and just get rid of the elements you don't need because 
obviously it's gonna uh, cost you a lot of cpu so yeah i think that's it guys uh thank you very much for watching i hope you like this rack i hope you will you will use it in your production to add some nice organic vibes like i said it can be either nice for melody techno industrial techno dark techno or even if you don't do techno it can be nice uh all the file will be available for free uh, to download as usual don't forget to like and subscribe before the download and thank you very much for watching guys see you soon bye bye